Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. And once again, thank you everybody for your comments about yesterday's gaming channel video. I'm appreciating that you're appreciating the energy and the and, and whatever. The, the newness, I guess. Uh, I had fun making the video. Um, an edit like that where there's hundreds and hundreds of cuts and inserts and I think I can't maintain that a, a long term but uh, I had fun I had fun making it being goofy so I expect as time goes on if I continue to do these at any sort of pace uh, I expect to be I expect the quality to not be I expect to do less of that and be more just conversational because uh, it, it's freaking a lot, you know. And like I said yesterday, at least I think I did, I don't know. Um, if I didn't tell it to you, I said it on social media, like an edit like that was really pushing my laptop to the brink. I, not just my laptop, the software that I use to do videos. Okay, but today I have a topic to talk about and that is another video released um, by Van Nystad. And the title of the video, Some Voices in Our Heads Are Right. And uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen Van yet. I think his channel is fantastic. He's a very thoughtful person. And he puts a lot... Uh, he takes a very interesting and unique twist on how YouTube videos are normally made when he does his stuff. But his his the point of the video was he watched two documentaries while he was on vacation... One was about uh, Fran Lebowitz, and one was about Marty Fish. I had never heard of Marty Fish. Uh, but it was basically, uh, uh, he, he talked about how these, he identified with both of these people, because Fran is, like, she says herself that she's this just, she's the laziest person that's ever existed. She does nothing but just sit and read all day, every day. That's, like, her entire existence. Um, and it's been that way her whole life. And contrast that with... Marty Fish, who was a mediocre tennis player, he was a professional tennis player, but he was just kind of okay, decided at some point he wanted to be better and pushed himself to be better, became number seven in the world, but at the cost of having a break. And so Van talked about in the video how those two people represent fully the duality of his brain and the two voices in his head. One is, let's just lay around and do nothing, and the other one is, go, go, go. And I identify with that. And I think, honestly, most of us do. I think we most, most of us fight with that back and forth of, I want to do nothing today, but I need to get all this stuff done. And that was my day yesterday. Uh, I, I, knowing that I had to go to the hospital with my dad, uh, I saved the bulk of the editing of that video for that visit because I knew I wouldn't be able to focus on anything else. So I was able to get a whole bunch of the editing done there, um, and then I figured I would take the evening, or I would take the rest of the day, whatever time I got home, I would just do nothing, because I'd be, and that didn't end up being the case. I came home, uh, did this video, or did yesterday's video, uh, did, um, published the the vlog, published the, I'm, I'm doing the vlog post also on my website um posting the vlog to my website uh social media links all that sort of stuff putting it on bgg sending it out to discord peeps hoping people will thumbs the video you know whatever did all of that work and then um malia had uh she plays on a kickball team so she had kickball last night and i thought i'll just chill i'll make myself some dinner and i'll just relax and take the evening off that did not happen. <laughs> I ended up coming down here and working on the desk. I needed to put another coat of oil on it, the last coat of oil on it. I ended up putting the last coat of oil. I ended up recoating the base, which I wasn't going to put another coat on, but it was looking kind of dry in spots. So I buffed the whole, all of it with quadruple lot steel wool and then put a new coat, fresh coat of oil on all of it. 
and that will be the final coat uh so next week sometime i'll get to but anyway i ended up like i i laid there and i was like this isn't you got to get more done this isn't enough stuff in one day and i just went and so i feel it really hard when he when van said at the end of the video he said there's a cycle in his brain that that bounces between these two voices between the fran and the marty part of his brain that says let's take a break and go 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 and, and pushing till the till the breaking point and so bouncing back and forth those between those is what makes him love both voices equally um and that's i get it right my body my my natural state is thinking i enjoy just sitting and thinking and i mean literally just sitting and thinking like not thinking about a thing not working on a thing and not just sitting and thinking that i enjoy that a lot and i could do that if i could think professionally i would <laughs> uh the problem is that in order to make a living from thinking you have to create actionable you have to manifest actionable or or real world results of your thinking and so that's the part that that's the Fran in me that's like, I, I want to think, but I don't I don't want to put in the effort to write the book or to make the movie or to to write the code or to work on the game or whatever. I'd rather just think and then that'd be the end result. It's just my own personal satisfaction. I don't you know, obviously, I do way more than satisfy my own personal curiosities. I, I put it out into the world. That's the other half of me. That's like, what are you doing? You, I can't just lay and and. And do nothing. Uh, prior to 2019, 2018, when Malia came into my life, uh, I, it was not possible for me to sit still and just do nothing. Like, I, I, I really struggled. I felt like I had to do anything other than just nothing. I felt like I had to... Uh, come down here and make something. I had to work on a game. I had to have a project. I had to have th six balls in the air at all times because if I'm not being productive, I'm being lazy, and that's my biggest fear in life is being lazy. Now, I'm not talking about, like, meditation. I could, I could, I've always been able to do but I mean, like, for any extended period of time, whereas, like, my body and my brain's natural inclination is, like, let's just not do anything today. Let's just lay here. Let's just sit here and read. Let's just be lazy. I don't even want to cook. But the other part of me is going, no, you you're, don't, you can't be lazy. That's not acceptable. And I don't necessarily love either voice. I don't, Van's, Van's conclusion at the end of his video is that he loves both voices equally because combined they make him, you know, appreciate the downtimes and appreciate the intense times. Uh, I find myself overwhelmed by the intense times, which forces me into the downtimes. Not, it's not a willing, like, giving over of, of laziness. It's like... I burn myself to the point that I cannot push anything, and then it becomes difficult to uh, to open an email, like to respond to somebody, to admit that I have just been burnt. Right? I don't know that I'm currently in either of these cycles. I'm having difficulty. I'm definitely having professional difficulty right now in in all of the various jobs that I have taken on. I am having a hard time. Uh, being productive, not necessarily productive. I'm trying to be productive. I'm having a hard time being. Uh, I'm having a hard time adding value. Uh, that I haven't brought value for a while, and that's bothering me. Um, and there are thoughts in my head of all the things that I would like to do, and. Uh, that's also bothering me because what I what ends up happening is when I when I when I'm not, when I feel like I've not been productive, and I feel like I have seven hundred things that I want to do. That's when I become passive, and I just retreat, and that scares me. That's a part of me that I never appreciated. So, I think uh, hearing hearing Van's talk about his struggles with this duality uh, it was good for me so i want to recommend it to you go check it out i don't know that i articulated his thesis very well but um, maybe you'll 
find a better conclusion for me, and you'll tell me about it in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart is sagacity. It is a noun meaning wisdom, soundness of judgment. Our minds are endowed by nature with such activity and sagacity that the soul is believed to be produced from heaven. Quintilian, a Roman rhetorician. Sagacity, S-A-G-A-C-I-T-Y. So I guess that has the root word of a sage. So a wise man, I like it. That's a fun word.